hello and welcome back to house library or welcome to house library i in this video today am going to be doing an unhaul um so i've mentioned it a couple times in my vlogs i think but i am going to be hopefully moving if i get a job um my fiance lives in a different state so we are so i'm moving over there so what that entails is i am trying to downsize literally everything in my life so i don't have to move everything okay so now that we have that i want to unhaul some books um most of these i think i've gotten for free or like so like that means like from my library from little libraries that i just picked up and i was like i want to read this and then now it's like three years later i'm like no i'm not going to read those so let's get into it i have this big bag full and there will probably be more unhauls coming soon if not a like whole entire video, check out my vlogs because I might put those in there. But first one, and I'm just gonna pull them out of the bag, is The King of Infinite Space. So this one is from my library. We were getting rid of it and um, I picked it up most mostly because it's hardcover and I thought the I mean, the cover looks really pretty, but then I actually read what it was about and I was like, no, not getting it, not reading it. Then, here, I'll do all of these three together. Um, a Great and Terrible Beauty trilogy. I got these at my library. Someone donated them. I took them. Now I'm getting rid of them because, first of all, look how big this is. That's a chunker. Not planning on reading any chunkers anytime soon. Um, if I do want to read it again, I'll probably pick it up from the library. And that's if I do. But so far, haven't had the, the feel for it. Um, next one is... Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. Um, I think I read this one. Possibly. I think so. Um, but I have been going through, I've been trying to go through all the Sarah Dessen books, but, um, I don't need to have all of them is my thought process now um i'm still going to read all of them i'm just getting them from the library now and i don't need them on the shelf because once i read them i'm probably not gonna wanna reread them so that's going away next one my grandmother asked me to tell you she's okay this was really good, but this is really sad. And I don't want to read two, a sad story two times. So I'm getting rid of this. But I do still recommend this book to, that I feel like everyone should read this book. Next is The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily. This one's just a little contemporary um, Christmas story. I've, um, I'm, I still read YA, but not this YA. Um, if you get what I mean, I am twenty four, and I want to read older YA than like thirteen year olds. And I've noticed in the last couple years me reading books and going stop being whiny and then i think to myself they're only 14 of course they're whiny so i'm like this isn't for me anymore but i'm still reading like older ya like 
18, 19, but that 19 gets kind of into like new adult, but I'm, I still enjoy some YA. That is like my thing, has been my thing for a long time, but not so much anymore. I feel like Michelle's library <laughs> when I say that. Um, next one is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I got this at my local used bookstore and um because i really really liked her first book or i think it's her first book um uh, everything i never told you i really enjoyed that one this one i listened to it and i was just kind of like eh. um i had to keep going back because i kept falling asleep and i was just like this is this is not good so I think I gave it a three star. So. Uh, next one is Prince in Disguise. I can't remember if I read this or not. This one is actually signed by the author. But if I did read it, I don't remember anything about it. If I didn't read it, I have no plans to read it in the next coming years. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I got this. Let's see, when did it come out? I want to say like 2019. 20. Okay, so the copyright and date is 2017. I think I got this in like 2018 or 2019. Um, I went to a, like a big book convention thing um, in Chicago and she was there. And she's super nice. Don't get me wrong. Again, with the, I'm not into YA, I'm not into YA anymore, like this YA. So, I'm getting rid of that. And then, um, getting rid of The Prince and The Dressmaker. I'm getting rid of this because I read it once and probably not going to read it again. It is very pretty though. I will give it that. I do recommend it. Um... I'm just not going to read it, and at this point in time, I'm just trying to downsize as much as possible. Plus, also, we're going to be moving probably into an apartment, and depending on how big the apartment is, I won't have that much space for my books, is my guess. There will be space. I will make space. But I don't know how much space I'm going to be allowed to have. <laughs> Um, the next one is New Year's Kiss by Lee Matthews. Um, this one was a cute little romance uh, about New Year's uh, Eve and New Year's Kiss. And it was really cute when I read it. Not going to read it again. But if you are looking for something like over the holidays and you want something quick and short and you're into YA, go for this one. And... And then the very last one, which I talked about in one of my vlogs, is Farm City, The Education of an Urban Farmer by Novella Carpenter. This one, um, I enjoyed it a lot, but it's a nonfiction that I'm never going to read again, but I'm happy I did. And I got this at a secondhand shop, so I didn't pay that much for it, and I will probably be return, returning it to that second hand shop um but it did sit on my shelf for at least a year I want to say so um yeah and that is all the books in uh that I'm getting rid of right now but if you um have any uh thoughts about all the books that I read or that I'm getting rid of most definitely tell me. Um, maybe you can change my mind, but honestly, probably not. And um, you can follow me uh, on all my socials. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can like this post or post. I feel like I'm on Bookstagram. You can like this video, subscribe, and you can follow me on all my platforms. I am on Bookstagram. I am on Sustainability Gram. Um, I'm on 
Goodreads, and Storygraph. So, if you're on any of those, like to look at pictures, most definitely check those out. If you're into sustainability, go check out my sustainability uh, Instagram. And I think that's it for right now. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!